Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for everything gaming. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's been heating up discussions across the gaming world once again. The age-old debate of 30 FPS versus 60 FPS is back in the spotlight and this time it's Hellblade 2 adding fuel to the fire. So buckle up as we dissect this hot topic, share insights and of course I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments the heart of the debate. For years, the gaming community has been split down the middle. Some swear by the smoother experience of 60 FPS, while others claim that 30 FPS is perfectly acceptable, especially in certain types of games. This argument has taken a new turn with the previews of Hellblade 2, showing that the game runs at 30 FPS on consoles, stirring up a storm of opinions. The promise of 60 FPS. Remember when the latest consoles were announced? Both Xbox and PlayStation made bold claims about the new standard being 60 FPS, setting expectations high. Fast forward to today and we're seeing that this standard isn't as standard as many had hoped. This discrepancy between promise and reality is where a lot of the frustration is rooted. The impact of FPS on gameplay. Let's talk gameplay. In high-octane shooters like Call of Duty or fast-paced titles like Apex Legends, hitting that 60 FPS mark is crucial for a fluid, responsive experience. These are games where every millisecond counts and lower frame rates can genuinely hinder performance. On the other hand, we've got games like Hellblade 2 and Dragon's Dogma 2, where the pace is decidedly different. These games focus more on storytelling, atmosphere, and exploration. The argument here is that in such games, the need for 60 FPS might not be as critical. Sure, higher frame rates offer a smoother visual experience, but does it affect enjoyment to the point of breaking the game? I personally don't think so, but I also understand why some would disagree. The Compromise Performance Modes The ideal solution seems to be offering a performance mode, allowing players to choose between higher frame rates or enhanced visuals. Yet, not all games are providing this option, leading to disappointment for those who value choice. It's a complex issue involving significant time and resource investment from developers to offer both options. Community Voices The conversation around FPS is more than just a technical debate. It's about consumer expectations, promises made by console manufacturers, and the overall direction of the gaming industry. I came across a comment from Zaboinka that really sums up the sentiment of many gamers. They pointed out that 60 FPS was marketed as a defining feature of the current gen, making it hard to accept when games, especially first-party titles, don't offer the choice between performance and quality. This expectation, set by console manufacturers themselves, underscores the importance of delivering on promises or, at the very least, providing gamers with options. Where do we stand? So where does this leave us? It's clear that the debate between 30 FPS and 60 FPS isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Each new game release seems to reignite the discussion, challenging our expectations and preferences. As gamers, it's essential to voice our opinions and preferences, but also to understand the complexities involved in game development. Whether you're firmly in the 60 FPS camp or believe that 30 FPS is suitable for certain games, the most important thing is to keep the conversation going. Closing thoughts. Hellblade 2's choice to run at 30 FPS on consoles has certainly stirred the pot, but it's also opened up a larger discussion about what we value in our gaming experiences. As we continue to navigate through this ever-evolving landscape, let's stay engaged, share our thoughts, and above all, keep enjoying the games that bring us together. I'm eager to hear your take on this. Are you a stickler for 60 FPS or do you think 30 FPS is adequate for certain titles? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the discussion going. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming news and insights. Until next time, happy gaming!